We begin with continuing coverage. Alabama Forestry reporting a fire off of Bellingrath Road burned at least 230 acres today. It's now at least 80% contained. Mobile Police and the Sheriff's Office evacuated people who live on the road. News 5's Dana Winter has been reporting on this fire all afternoon. She joins us from Deacle Road where she spoke to a woman who did not evacuate. It's pretty smoky still out here tonight. Taking a look over at the wood line, you can still see active flames showing you just how close this fire came to the roadway. At one point, Alabama Forestry says the fire threw embers a quarter to a half of a mile ahead. Deanna Pritchett tells us the fire has been going on and off for about four days. She called the fire department Tuesday morning when her dad told her it sparked back up. Maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes, it spread it down to our power lines and jumped our power line trails and got in my backyard. Alabama law enforcement agency bringing in this helicopter, dumping water on the fire, trying to stop it from spreading any further. My cousin lives behind me in a double wide, and it's already burnt his sheds down, and they was out there, fire department at his back door, trying to spray to keep his trailer from catching on fire. Pritchett's dad has COPD, and the smoke makes it hard for him to breathe. He's sitting outside trying to keep our house with a water hose on it, trying to keep it from burning and coughing up a storm. It's not good for him at all. While she says her family is doing fine, sadly, she's not sure if one of her pets will be okay. I've ended up rescuing three sets of baby kittens out of this fire. She come out of the fire, and my dad started yelling at me, telling me one of the cats just come out of the fire. And I took off to her, and when I seen her, I just I lost it. I just busted out in tears. And Pritchett has a PayPal set up to help with veterinary expenses. Mobile Fire Rescue was called out to help, but left once things were under control. The department says it is ready to respond if it's needed again. Reporting in Mobile County tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.